how deep will Bitcoin dip today? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family Channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi. Didi, run BTC, guys. Cool shirts available in our store, guys. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the news. There's two news items, really short to powerful news item that I need to share with you guys. Of course, also looking into the Bitcoin chart because we have the monthly close. What do we expect for October, November, December, and the rest of 2025? Yeah, I know this is 2024. An inspirational quote, a crypto tip maybe, and maybe some other stuff. Let's quickly jump into the news first because it's really awesome news that I want to share with you right now. Watch the video till the end, bam. The first news is about Thailand. K Bank, also known as Kasi Korn Bank, one of the biggest banks in Thailand, I think it's the second biggest bank, now was given the first license in Thailand ever to be a custodial service for digital assets like Bitcoin. So K Bank is now going to offer custodial service for Bitcoin to all their clients of that bank. K Bank has millions of clients, so there's a huge news in Thailand. Millions of Thai people will now be able to buy Bitcoin through their K Bank account and have them as a custodial service. Of course, it will first roll out to all the business clients and to all the companies and stores and all that stuff, and then it will go to the retail people. But at least Thailand is really, really, really pro crypto, guys. It's almost crypto heaven. Every time positive news from Thailand when it comes to crypto. Yes, tax wise as well, not paying tax in Thailand on crypto. Now companies get the possibility to use bank accounts as a custodial service for their crypto holdings, what they want to buy. So this is going to make the landscape for crypto crypto people in Thailand even more attractive and it will attract more and more people like me to Thailand that want to spend crypto, hodl crypto and of course promote crypto all over the world guys. So really positive news from Thailand, K Bank, one of the biggest banks in Thailand now becoming a custodial service for Bitcoin and other digital assets for all the Thai people out there guys. Now, then we have a second news item. The second news item is about the United States. We have there, of course, Ohio. Ohio just announced that they want to discover if it's possible for Ohio people, the people living in the state of Ohio, to pay their tax bills and everything with crypto. They already tried it in 2018. At that moment, they didn't have that too much positive people. But now that all the presidents are talking about the crypto, like Trump and Kamala Harris even wants to talk about crypto now. I know she's not like equipped to do that, but at least she tries. Uh, but the state of Ohio now wants to make it possible for all those people living there to pay their tax bills, etc., with crypto like Bitcoin. So that's all positive news at the moment. Positive news from Thailand, positive news from the United States. The only the negative news is still a little bit from the EU where they just want to like kick down crypto a little bit and they want to like have KYC, AML, regulations, all those frameworks set up so that they can throw in their central bank's digital currency and then yeah, for, have full control with a social credit system. That's what the EU wants. And of course, Klaus Schwab, we all know, you won't own anything and you will be happy. You know, that, that idiot um, is of course behind that and he left and of course he's giving it over to the next one and they all want the same. They want a centralized social credit system tied to a central bank digital currency and yes, also have full control on your cryptocurrency that's why it's not the best place to live at the moment uh, if you ask me Europe but uh, all other world parts yes United States even positive Thailand positive there's many other countries El Salvador Brazil Argentina Venezuela all positive there is enough countries in the world that are positive about crypto even I think Australia New Zealand are positive it's just the EU that is a little bit like yeah like the small retarded brother of like, for example, the United States, something like that. I don't know, I don't want to be living there anymore. At the moment, I'm now in Thailand, uh, but that's the two news items for today. First of all, K Bank, Thai biggest bank, now becoming custodial service. Second positive news, the state of Ohio now trying to have payments in crypto for tax, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, all the world will slowly start to understand that Bitcoin is a common good, that we all want to use Bitcoin. There is a shitload of Bitcoiners and they prefer to pay their tax if they want to pay tax or prepay whatever it is, their groceries with Bitcoin. So the world just needs to accept that we are taking over as decentralized people, decentralized mentality people, uh, Bitcoins and all other cryptocurrencies built on a decentralized blockchain, we are slowly taking over and they just need to adapt to the idea they won't be in full power control anymore. And I know what most of you want to say now, Didi, 
Do you really believe that? Do you really think they are going to give up their power? I don't think they have any other choice. They made a shit show in the last couple of decades with a lot of wars and a lot of fighting and a lot of fake flus and a lot of fake other stuff and a lot of fake LMTBQ shit, all that stuff. We don't support that anymore as people. And the, the more people start to understand that they need to put their capital in a decentralized currency, Bitcoin, to protect the capital against inflation, the less capital will be in that area over there at those centralized idiots that just want to be in control. So the more you get control to your own funds, the more you will get control in the world. That's why I always say, have your capital in Bitcoin. Now let's jump into the Bitcoin charts to show you exactly what is happening to Bitcoin in the short term, mid term and in the long term, zooming out, zooming in, monthly close. Let's have a look what Bitcoin is doing today. Bam. The first chart for today, guys, is this four hour chart. On this four hour chart, we can see that we are fighting uh, the support and resistance area between those yellow lines over there, guys. So there was a sell signal that was a beautiful signal to take profit. The candle is closing at the moment down below the yellow stepping line. That's the second signal of profit, uh, taking profit. If we close down below it, you should be exiting your long. If we close above the yellow step line, you can still stay in, but that's going to close in 15 hours and 45 minutes. Sorry, this is not a four hour chart. This is the day chart, guys. I'm zooming out a little bit because on the day chart, uh, you can see where we talked about yesterday. So we need to be taking our profits or waiting for a couple of hours to see if we close above it. If we close above it, we can continue this bullish move. Just like we had that bullish move here in the middle over there. That was the same. We were down below it, but we closed above it and we went up. So let's see how this plays out. If you close down below it, please take your profits in the four hour, but also in the daytime and all the other charts, guys. If we zoom out to the monthly, because the monthly close was yesterday or today, I need to say, the monthly opened at 58,967. We closed at 63,302. That was a very bullish uh, monthly close. Yes, with a lot bigger wick to the bottom than on top. Still above the 12 monthly moving average. That orange line that should be support during the bull market. If you look back to the previous bull market, here at the beginning, you see we are down below it and we come above it and then we stay above it. 2017, the same. Here we stay above that orange line. We should be staying above it. The next candle opened and will close in one month and uh, zero days. Uh, that will, uh, let's see where it will close. It does look like we are going to be a little bit more bullish. Look, if I compare it to this move over here, this was the halving over there. Then we went downwards like this. And then we went from there, bam, we went bullish. Now check, here the halving, we are going downwards. I think we will turn into October a little bit more bullish. But I have some other charts that will uh, show you exactly what I mean. Let's jump into those charts now so you can see. The first one is this one. And this is not a chart, this is just showing you and uh, for all those people that think Bitcoin uh, started in 2009. Yes, yes, you're all right. It started in 2009, but it all started of course, with all the developments a really little bit earlier, guys. It, it all started here. Look in the bottom. Cryptography. This was in 1974. Serf and Khan started to develop cryptography. From there, we went to link timestamping. All these people, Byzantine fault tolerance, digital cash over there already, David Chom uh, was already in 1983. Proof of work over here, D work and our, like, all of these people in this list, just pause the video if you want to check all of those people, they all had their contribution to the end goal over here. Satoshi Nakamoto launching Bitcoin. You can see here Adam Beck, Hashcash, Cyverson, Hal Finney, all of these people, Julian Assange, WikiLeaks, Lehman bankruptcy, led to this Bitcoin creation by Satoshi Nakamoto. But all of this happened first. So yes, Bitcoin only exists since 2009, but we've been building towards decentralized cryptocurrencies already since the 70s, guys. This is a peaceful revolution of the cypherpunks. That is how it is. Now, let's go into the next chart. This chart is a very cool chart. This one shows you that uh, when the Chinese Yuan starts to gain against the US dollar, that the Bitcoin price every time goes up. Look, this red line is USDC CNI, so that's the Chinese one against the dollar. Now check, every time when we create a lower high, we get this huge drop of that red line. That is when the yuan takes over from the dollar. And that's exactly when the Bitcoin price goes into this bullish run. Here again, 
2020 bull market, lower highs, huge drop of the red line, and at the same time, bam, massive run of the Bitcoin price. Here again now, this bull market, high, lower high, the drop of the red line, it can drop a little bit more to, to down here, but you can see already the Bitcoin price starts to going up. This is a very interesting chart. And let me know down below in the comments, what do you think about this one? Because this one is in correlation every time again and again with the bull market and also now again, lower highs, yes, will lead into a next October and a huge price increase in the Bitcoin price. I believe before the end of 2024, a 40% price increase, guys. Then we have this one. This is the Bitcoin stock to flow model. Uh, at the moment, we are already eight months in this uh, sideways movement from uh, 50 to 60K area. Of course, we can also calculate the previous month of the bull market. And then you get this huge resistance area over there. Um, that we also have over here, a huge resistance area and there. I can even show with this chart even better, guys. You can see how long we spent in certain areas. Over here, there was the 2017 top. We spent a long time in this part of the year to break that top area before we went and took off to that 70K level. Now again, that 60, 70K level, we spent a long time. This is nothing different, nothing strange. It's just part of the four-year cycle. There will be a moment we will take off and we will go into the next area which will be between 90 and 100k or something and there again will again be some resistance because at 100k a lot of people are want to take profit so there will be a sideways movement there again or maybe a little drop and in the end we will go up again in 2025. Very interesting charts of plan B over here guys that are showing you exactly that we are just doing like always. Check here the dark blue and those red dots and then bam blue and those red dots and then bam blue in these red dots and we will go bam guys simple as that just understand the four-year cycle i hope you really enjoyed all of those charts guys yes short term amazing volatility again it's just beautiful to be trading this if you don't have the time or the skills or the knowledge to trade then use the bot use the bitcoin family bot it's making three and a half percent per month times 12 that's almost 40 percent a year one bitcoin will go into 1.4 bitcoin without compounding effect if you start to compound each month there will be even maybe 1.5 bitcoin at the end of the year 12 months that is a beautiful return on investment so you don't need to be a trader you can be an investor that uses an enhanced algorithm that is increasing your capital each month with 3.5 percent not each year not like the banks all those traditional investment returns no 3.5% a month, guys. Simple as that. So, uh, I hope you really enjoyed the charts. Uh, if you did enjoy the charts, give already the video now a thumbs up. And yes, always zoom out. Look at that bigger picture. Amazing times ahead. Up October, up November, up December. We're all going up. Everything is going up. Everything is going up. Everything. And for all the gentlemen, you know what I mean with everything. It's all going up. Now, let's jump into the next part. Since I've been in this industry since 2013, a lot of people always DM me that they are hacked, that they invested in a pump and dump, uh, ICO, IDO, IEO, all of that, you know. This belongs to the crypto tip section of, uh, of this video. There is one blockchain, a new one, that wants to be a wrecked proof blockchain. And yes, it will probably require KYC, but at least it's keeping the projects that are launching on that blockchain safe. It can't be pump and dumps, anonymous pump and dumps, because that's completely verified. Now, of course, that is against everything I preach for, everything I talk about. I am a decentralized maximalist. I am power back to the people, but I also am protective of all the people. I don't want people to be scammed. So if you don't have any issues, you know, we're doing KYC and all that stuff, I would definitely take a look at Heaven One. Heaven One, I think it's a very good idea what they have over there. It's a decentralized blockchain. So they have decentralized validators. But the reality, if you want to launch an app or DAP or whatever it is on Heaven One, you need to do verification KYC AML. So the chance of being scammed or a pump a dump coin or being hacked is becoming very small because they do this. Just take a look at it. I am investing in this one because I understand that we need to have a step in between. So full decentralization is my goal. That goal is too far away from what the people at the moment want. They still want the safety net. So heaven one is precise in between. Decentralized, but also offering that safety net. So you're protected against like pump and dump schemes, etc. So just take a look, 
take a look at it further. The link is somewhere down below in the links. Heaven one uh, is one of the blockchains I'm also investing in now to see how that will change the industry when it comes to all those pump and dump schemes that we don't want people to fall for because it will give a negative view on blockchain, Bitcoin and all the other cryptocurrencies. So the crypto tip for the day is take a look at Heaven One. Then there was a question of many followers. They are all asking me, Didi, why do you use a Palau ID? It's very simple. For Dutch people, for example, or UK people, or United States people, or people from certain other countries, it became very difficult to trade on exchanges like Bybit. Now, I am a trader that trades inverse perpetual, which means I am trading to more Bitcoins. I'm not accumulating USDT. In the bull market, I'm accumulating Bitcoins. So I'm trading inverse perpetual, which means my bots are also trading inverse perpetual. The bots are making 3.5% per month. Those bots need you to be able to trade inverse perpetual. For Dutch people, they are not allowed to do that anymore on Bybit. Same like German people, French people, UK people, they are not allowed to trade those risky contracts. Those contracts that can make you filthy rich and that's not what the government wants. So if you require yourself a Palau ID with the link down below, you get access to a Palau ID, it's $250 per year, you will be able to sign up with a new account to Bybit with that Palau ID and trade to the full possibilities of Bybit. So also inverse perpetual. And that's how you can still use our bot. We just require a Palau ID, you sign up to that one, so you just create a new email address. With that email address, you apply for a Palau ID, and then with a Palau ID, you apply for a new Bybit account in combination with that email address, and that is how you connect again to our bot uh, without being like bothered by the Dutch governments that don't want you to become rich. So that's why I have the Palau ID, plus all the other advantages, and maybe even the advantages in the future, like the possibilities of a Palau telephone number, like the possibilities of the Palau proof of address, etc., etc., etc. They keep building, the price could be increasing because of all the things that they are building onto that Palau ID, Digital ID, uh, Vitalik Buterin, and many others did that as well. So please take a look at it. That's why I'm doing it. So I still want to be trading on Bybit. I want to be trading on Binance. I want to be trading on Blowfin. I want to be trading on all the exchanges as possible with a Palau ID. You can even use it to rent a car and everything else because it's an official ID. So a lot of creative advantages, if you ask me, take a look at that Palau ID. And all those lessons by DD. Yeah, that was like kind of rhyme or something. Now let's jump into the next part. The last part of the video, guys, is the inspirational quote. The inspirational quote for today is not like really a quote, it's more like a saying. Stop chasing money and start chasing your passions. Simple as that. Everyone is always chasing money, always taking all decisions in life because of money. No, I need to keep my job because of the money I earn so I can you know, do the things that I need to do, whatever it is. They don't look anymore at what their passion is. They don't look anymore at what is making them happy. They only look at what can I do to make more money. And if I need to throw away all my norms and values and do something that makes me completely unhappy, but I still get some money in return for it, I will just do that. Whatever job it is that you don't like. Stop wasting your time on chasing just money. Start to chase your passion. The moment you start to chase your passion, your passion will probably also become your income. And when that becomes your income, you will have way more money than you will have ever had as a working donkey for one of those jobs where you have a limit to your salary, your limit to your income, you're limiting yourself. Whatever job it is that you're doing, you're limiting yourself. If you make 40 hours, 50 hours, 60 hours or 80 hours, you still have the limit of your monthly income. If you start to chase your passion, the thing that you love to do in life, and you monetize that passion, there is no limit, unlimited ceiling of income. If you think 5K or 6K or 10K, dollar, euros, whatever is a lot every month, you can make 100K every month if you want. But you just need to find your passion and chase your passion and just monetize that passion. That is how you stay, that, that, that's how you turn happy, stay happy and become wealthy at the same time. And if you monetize your passion and put all that money as well on Bitcoin, your capital will be growing even more. So that's the steps that I would take. I would stop chasing money if you need to do things that you don't like 
and start chasing your passion and monetize that one, invest that one in Bitcoin, and your capital will grow tremendously. You won't be depending anymore on 15 or 20 vacation days per year. Your life will turn into an ongoing vacation where your passion is not considered as a job, but something that you really love doing. And if you monetize that, everything will be fine at the end. So that's the saying for today. Stop chasing that money and start chasing your passion, guys. That's everything for today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What did you think about the charts, everything else? Hope you really enjoyed them. Thanks for watching. I wish you an amazing Tuesday. See you tomorrow on Wednesday again. Bam.